Welcome back. D in Bellevue, Washington, watching Free Speech TV on public access. Hey, D, what's up? Oh, uh, well, you, you, <laughs> thank you for being here, being, doing what you do. I just wanted to say that this is a reference to Trump. Hate doesn't put food on your plate or to the Trump supporters. Hate doesn't put food on your plate. And the statement, Trump's statement, believe you me, should be challenged. Um, if, for example, if you go buy a car uh, from a dealer, would you except believe you me it's the greatest car on earth it runs faster than the lightning without looking under the hood or test driving it or turning turning um, turning the engine um so hey doesn't put doesn't uh feed your children yeah. look deeper uh also i want to say in reference to the republican party i think they're america's true terrorists um and congress as well as the senate the republican side because zika has no party and for again, for those other Trump supporters who always say, well, I support Trump because he's a businessman, corporations don't care about people. They care about profit, right. period. Right. And, the, and I think the last thing is health care. Why would you want to get rid of health care? Remember when everyone's standing in lines in, in, at domes and schools and, and finding out the last minute, oh, you're too poor to live? Um, because you have no insurance, you have no ability to buy your, you, uh, buy medication, and you could have saved yourself if you had health care. Right. Um, uh, uh, why do you want to go back to that? Because of hate. Yeah. This is what you want? People. I, I know you hate people of color. And I understand that. It's based on fear and ignorance. It's a new culture. Um, and I, I, and I wish you could, out of your comfort zone and just and greet someone of, of a different faith and culture. Try from food to music; those are the easiest ways, avenues. But to vote against humanity, wrapped, wrapped it's a bit, what do you call it, a, a wolf wrapped in sheep's clothing? Mm -hmm. That is Trump, mm -hmm. and and you're falling for it. I, I I'm imploring the Republican. Um, the electorate out there, the Trump supporters, please challenge Trump's um, of philosophy and what he plans to do. Just don't accept it wholeheartedly because it's wrapped in your hate and fear and ignorance. Well, and part of the problem is that uh, I don't think that Donald Trump has a philosophy. I don't think he has a governing philosophy. I think he's got a couple of slogans that, uh, that poll well, you know, like bring American jobs home and uh, you know keep but us safe how? and and you know and now that he's being now that the you know the media is starting to actually say okay how are you going to do that like for example with immigration how are you going to do that and the trump campaign comes out with uh, okay here's what we do one two three and it turns out that's what president obama's already doing right <laughs> it's like well wait a minute wait a minute it's like uh it's so it's it's they got based nothing. On hate. Yeah. 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 It's based remember, on bumper stickers and hate Zika? and and fear. Yes. Yeah, I'm with you. And D, I think the Zika thing is huge. Then and the Republicans have refused to come back and provide the funding for the Centers for Disease Control that is necessary to fight Zika. And as a result, people are going to die. People are already dying. And and arguably even I don't know. I can't say worse, but you know, uh, a lot of families are going to be destroyed by uh, literal by you know by having uh, children born into their families who will never reach the intellectual age of six months old throughout their entire lives d thank you for the call thank you very much we'll be back